Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is shelf number seven. Um, still under the weather, so bear with me here. Um, we got Spring Breakers. I remember seeing this in the theater when it came out. Uh, very interesting film. Um, yeah, I gotta rewatch it though. I've only seen it twice. Uh, we got Spun, which Big Lots had a couple years ago. People, everybody was looking for it. Found it a few times, so pretty lucky on that one. Stand By Me 4K, classic film, love that one. Starman, still need to get around to watching that one. Uh, the first six Star Trek films on Blu-ray. I'm not a Trekkie, but you know, uh, Star Wars, the, pre the prequels. I do have the other originals. I think they're in a different area though. So we got Rogue One, Force Awakens, Digibook, The Last Jedi, and then The Rise of Skywalker, which I haven't I haven't seen this one, but I heard it's not great. So I'm not really in a in a rush to watch that one. Uh, Step Brothers, really funny movie with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Uh, the remake of The Stepford Wives. I enjoyed this film. I haven't watched the Blu-ray, but I used to have the DVD. Stoker Hills. I enjoyed this one. Not everybody did, but I had the DVD and I upgraded to the Blu-ray. One of my favorite bands of all time, Talking Heads. This is a compilation of their tour from 1984, I believe. There's your track listing there. I enjoy that band quite a bit. Uh, Strange Brew, really good Canadian film with Rick Moranis. Streets of Fire, classic film. Uh, Street Trash, this is the 88, um, 88 films, yeah, 88 films version, region free. I love that movie, it's so bad, it's so cheesy. Uh, student Body, I haven't watched this one yet. Same thing with Studio 666. Suckers, actually, I got this not for Suckers, but there's a uh, there's another movie in here called uh, Six Days in Roswell that I was interested in watching, but I'll watch both eventually. <coughs> Sorry, I'm all nasally. Summer School, love this movie. Uh, Mark Harmon, and then you got Chainsaw and Dave in here. It's it's not a horror film, it's a comedy, but it has horror elements, uh, mostly just um, makeup and whatnot. Uh, Sunset Boulevard, haven't got around to watching this one yet, but classic film. Super bad. Who doesn't love Super Bad? It's it's funny. Superhero movie. I enjoyed this one. It's probably one of the last spoof movies that I actually enjoyed. Super Troopers. Classic comedy. Love it. Surf 2. I don't remember if I watched this yet or not. Oh, sorry. Got booty on the back there. Um, yeah, I don't... No, I don't... No, I never opened it, so... Gotta, gotta watch that one. Surf Nazis Must Die, this was a must. Uh, I used to have the DVD, so I didn't get the Blu-ray. Uh, I bought this one before Evil Laugh actually came out from Vinegar Syndrome, but I do have that version. The other three I have not seen, but I heard uh, Sweet Home was really good, and I think I have Eyes of Fire already as well. So just the these two I didn't have. But yeah, sloppy seconds, they are what they are. Uh, Sword in the Stone, classic. I've seen it many times as a kid. Glad to have the Blu-ray. Tangled, I have not seen all the way through, but I've seen bits and pieces of it. Here's a guilty pleasure, Tank Girl. I know people, a lot of people don't like this film because it's, I heard it's not completely accurate to the original uh, comic, but I enjoy Tank Girl a lot more than most people do. Uh, Tarantulas, The Deadly Cargo. Uh, one of the best films ever made, Taxi Driver. 
Uh, this is the other one that I had to double make a <clears throat> combo pack out of because I had the I had the DVD with South Park, so I went ahead and just made it a combo pack. But I, I never got the 4K. I might eventually, but for right now, this is fine. <clears throat> Ted, I like the first one. The second one, uh, it's got to grow on me. Uh, I got the original Turtles trilogy. Um, I enjoy all of them, but obviously one and two are way better than the third one. Ten Things I Hate About You, classic. <coughs> Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles. Uh, 1031 Part 2, I haven't seen, I've only seen the first one. I do have the first one, it's just in a different area. I didn't get Part 3. Terra Firma, I haven't watched this one. This is a... Is this in English? I don't know. Some of these, a lot of these films are not in English. Uh, it's an Italian. It's an Italian film. Found it fairly cheap, so I picked it up. Uh, Terror Out of the Sky, another Killer Bee movie. Uh, they Shall Not Grow Old. This is a Peter Jackson film. I think it's, is it a documentary? I don't remember. It might be. I found it for cheap. Peter Jackson, I'll pick up anything by him. This is the end. Classic comedy. Love it. Thoroughbreds, I haven't watched that one yet. Three Amigos, that's another classic comedy. <coughs> Three O'Clock High, a lot of people love that film. Uh, thriller, I just got the regular release of it. I didn't bother with the, uh, the bigger release. Hard watch for sure. Uh, Tiger by the Tail this is a Kino release. I had to pick it up because of the cast, especially Tippy Hadron. 1970. I haven't watched it though. Uh, Tiger Milk. I enjoyed this film. Um, it does have its moments where it's like dramatic. It's a coming of age movie. It takes place in Germany. <coughs> it's in German, I believe, but it's got English subs. So I enjoyed that one. <coughs> you got the Tigger movie. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2? Uh, Timeline. This is a nice imprint release. I haven't watched this one yet. Had to pick it up when it was on sale. I wish Deep Discount would do more sales like that, but they're not. The Time Machine, classic H.G. Wells. Uh, Titanic. I didn't bother with the 4K. I'm I'm okay with Blu-ray. Such a long movie. I've seen it a couple times over the years. <laughs> Uh, to Catch a Thief with Carrie Gra Grace Kelly. I'm a big Grace Kelly fan, so had to have it. I also love Hitchcock. Uh, to Die For, I'll get the I'll get the Criterion eventually, but this is I picked this up from Amazon a while back when it was on sale. So. Uh, Tokyo Living Dead Girl or Living Dead Idol rather. The trailer looked good, so I'll pick it up and give it a watch. Uh, this this one I'm a little iffy about. I watched this movie, The Toll. Uh, very creepy movie. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, rewatchable or not, but I'll watch it again, and maybe it won't make the shelf. But I like that, that artwork. For sure. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the Blind Dead movies. This is Tombs of the Blind Dead. Steelbook. <clears throat> Put out by Synapse. I've seen the movie because I have the DVD set, but... I went ahead and got the, the, the Steelbook. Blu-ray Steelbook. 
Uh, one of the few westerns I have in my collection is Tombstone. Classic, in my opinion. Uh, we got Total Recall, Blu-ray. Love this movie. Didn't even bother watching the remake. <laughs> the Town. Um, still haven't seen this. I think, I think, didn't Affleck actually direct this one too? I don't remember. I think he did. <clears throat> Shelf's a little tight. Uh, to Your Last Death. I haven't watched this animated film, but it's got a good cast. <clears throat> uh, get in there. Uh, this one is a different, there's a couple different movies called Toy Soldiers. This is the one with Tim Robbins, not to be confused with the other one. With um, Sean Astin, right? Uh, another western track down found this for really cheap <clears throat> anytime i find a scorpion releasing release for cheap i pick it up uh trading places i love this movie didn't get the 4k but i might later down the line uh tragedy girls i love this movie I haven't opened the Blu-ray, but I've seen it before. I had an, I had the old Blu-ray. But I enjoy this film. It was different. Different artwork underneath. So if you guys like Tragedy Girls, let me know in the comments below. Uh, next, we got Train Spotting. Uh, I, I would like to get the Criterion, but the, that 4K packaging is god-awful, so... I might just get the Blu-ray of that. <laughs> Depending on special features, obviously. Trashology, I have not watched this one yet. Um, I pick up, I usually pick up anything from Martini, which is a subsidiary of Olive Films. So. Uh, this one I don't need anymore, because I got the, the Blu-ray uh, still book of all of them. But I do like this artwork a lot more. I mean, <clears throat> this is the one with John Heater. So it's like Michael Gross is teaming up with Napoleon Dynamite, which is kind of weird. But, yeah. Uh, you got Troll Hunter, which is a really good found footage type movie. Uh, about trolls, and I think it's Norway. Yeah, Norway. Really enjoyed that one. And then I'm going to end the video here with Troma's War, which I haven't watched yet. But it's, I heard this is pretty crazy, as you can see from the back there. Yeah, classic Troma. Alright guys, that's it for this shelf. Uh, stay tuned for shelf number 8, uh, coming probably sometime tomorrow, maybe tomorrow afternoon, evening. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See ya.